Wow, a pond! I wonder what lives here. I can see frogs, birds, and bugs. Wow, I've never seen the bottom of a pond before. There's so many amazing plants and animals. Let's make our own pond. Great idea. Let's start our pond by adding rocks. Tap on the book if you want to hear about the things you can add to the pond. Great. Now there's lots of places for the animals to live and hide. Let's keep going. Underwater plants. Floating plants. Ooh, now we get to pick a plant to add. You can always use my book to hear more information. Click on the things in the tray to hear about them. When you are ready to place things in the pond, Tap the book again to close it. These underwater plants make good hiding places for small pond animals. Lily pads are floating plants that give frogs a place to sit and warm themselves in the sun. Drag something into the pond. Underwater plants will help feed lots of pond animals. I wonder who will eat them. Let's look around. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Now we get to add animals to the pond. Ponds need lots of different plants and animals to stay healthy. Let's pick one and see what happens. Worm. Snail. Snails have shells to protect them. I wonder what other creatures have shells. I notice that each time we chew something, the pond changes. Look, we're going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Different creatures live here, in the middle of the pond. I wonder what they are, and what they eat. Mayfly larva. Tadpole. This larva is a baby mayfly. It will grow up to have wings and fly around the surface of the pond. Tadpoles will grow and change to become frogs. Mayflies have three tails that make them easy to spot. How many mayflies do you see? We could take a closer look at the plants and animals in the pond with this magnifying glass. Move the magnifying glass over a plant or animal and click it to see it up close. I noticed that mayfly larva has two tails to help it swim in different directions. What do you notice? Tadpole. Mosquito larva. Wow, 
I wonder how many tadpoles are here. Count how many you see. Mosquito larva. Caddisfly larva. Young mosquitoes are very tiny. I wonder which is smaller, these or the little wiggly worms. This frog is the grown-up of the tadpole we added. I noticed that this frog has green skin covered in spots. Do you think that helps it hide? Now we're near the pond's surface. I wonder how the animals will be different here. Northern pike, red spotted newt. Pike fish are big and eat other fish and frogs. Newts live in the water and on land, like frogs. Whoa, look at the size of them. Red spotted newt, pumpkin seed sunfish. The pattern on the pumpkin seed fish helps it hide because it looks like sunlight on the pond. These little fish have lots of fun colors. What do you notice about the colors of the animals in the pond? Look at that bright orange spot. That is a special mark on the pumpkin seed fish. I noticed that the pike fish has a long, thin body and lots of spots. What do you notice?